This video is a small tribute to the Philips organization. Here you see uh, the founder of the organization, Mr. Anton Philips. And this book is completely about Mr. Philips and the Philips organization. Issued by Meulenhof in Amsterdam. The book is from uh, 1955, as far as I know. Sorry, 1957. And of course, it's not possible to uh, pay enough attention to the complete content from this book. But I want to show a few pages from this book. Mr. Phillips, when he was uh, 17 years old, and he did a lot of work in uh, promoting all his products in uh, Europe before uh, World War uh, II. So, um, that's one of the basic uh, sayings of his success. Uh, the first factory from Philips, 18 91 and the first Philips workers nine uh, sorry 1891 so quite a long time ago of course the first uh, articles that Philips made were incandescent lamps with a wolfram wire And um, that was a very, very popular article uh, those days. This is where uh, Philips lived, Mr. Philips lived, De Laak. And, uh, well, it's a little bit uh, impossible to show all the pictures in this book. But this is for perhaps interesting. Mr. Ford, Henry Ford, uh, met Mr. Phillips in 1930. Phillips was always very interested in, in international contacts. And uh, he also uh, had talks with uh, the General Electric Company and uh, Radio Corporation of America and that was a, I think, a very good uh, idea from Mr. Phillips to contact, uh, to make a lot of international contacts. This was the commercial staff 1929. And Philips has also done a lot to uh, make the electronics popular. They issued a lot of publications in the 80s and 70s to make electronics popular for everyone. For instance, the Hobbyscope. This is a Hobbyscope 1976. Um, it was for free. You could. Uh, take it for free in uh, electronic shops and um, there were some advertisements but also a, a lot of information for um, radio amateurs and electronics hobbyists. This is for instance a schematic showed in this bulletin. Very interesting I think. And they also made a sort of um, packets, uh, packets with parts, electronic parts, all for hobbyists. This for instance is an audio uh, amplifier. 
preamplifier. And they were easy to make, easy to build with um, components that were selected by the engineers from the Philips uh, company. Uh, light sensitive resistors. That's what this uh, article is all about. And also in the 60s Philips was active to promote the radio and electronics. This is for instance, these are for instance small bulletins, frequency modulation, you see uh, the frequency ranges from all kinds of musical instruments, uh, waveforms, the time domain, etc. Of course it's impossible to show uh, all these uh, bulletins completely. We and the electronics, that's what's here. This is about the radio. Here the principles of radio transmission are explained. Um, this is a bulletin about electron tubes from the 60s. How the electron tubes work. very common and uh, well known to everyone interested in electronics uh, filament, cathode, anode how it's made in real in, a, in an electron tube you can see here that um, um, anode has a tube like shape and here's the filament and the cathode Here it showed how uh, electrical uh, uh, oscillations are amplified. Simple circuit, you can find it everywhere on YouTube. Cathode ray tube, the doctor, the cathode ray picture, and how the cathode ray tube works. Sorry, the Röntgen tube works. I make a small mistake. This is how a Röntgen tube works. Uh, light sensitive uh, tubes, etc., etc. Electron tubes, cathode ray tubes. And uh, it's a pity that nowadays uh, all these uh, great factories uh, don't issue these uh, documents, bulletins, for uh, people interested in the radio. But of course we have nowadays the, the internet, the world wide web, where uh, we can find a lot of electronic circuits. This is about transistors, semiconductors, how they all work, etc. etc. So I think um, this is about computers, digital counting machine, etc. etc. So I think uh, Philips has um, done many things for uh, radio amateurs and uh, all people interested in electronics. So this is a small tribute to
to the Philips organization and I hope you enjoy this video.